Hey guys! Hello! <laughs> it's me, Pretzel Cosplay. Welcome! As you know, I love to make costumes, but there is also another thing that's very important about cosplay, and that's makeup. Because that can make or break your costume. And today I have a very special guest. I'm a big fan of her. <laughs> it's uh, Shilling Beauty or Yay! Jubina Cosplay. And she makes the most amazing makeup looks and she's really, really good at it. Oh my god, thank and you. <laughs> you really should check out her channel as well because um, you will love her videos and it's very helpful. So I will <laughs> put it all in the description so you can uh, check it out. And we even made a video on her channel as well where I'm teaching her how to work with Warbla. Ah, so excited! <laughs> <laughs> so that's also a very uh, helpful uh, video. So be sure to check it out, I will link it uh, below. Yeah, I'm very, very curious to, to learn some things about, well, some basic things about makeup that are really important with costume. <laughs> okay, so uh, we are going to do a cosplay makeup today uh, because with cosplay it's very important to exaggerate your makeup a little bit yeah. more than an everyday makeup look. So uh, let's remove our makeup and then come back. <laughs> so this is how it all starts. Yeah, start with um, with this to keep the hairs out of our face. I'm Bunny, and you are the unicorn. The unicorn. The first step <laughs> is primer. Uh, I apply this on the spaces where my pores are a little bit bigger mm -hmm. because when you apply it, your pores will disappear. Okay, then Fun. I apply the foundation and in this case the foundation has to match my own skin color. Mm -hmm. I first apply this uh, just a few dots mm -hmm. over my whole face and then take your beauty blender and then blend it all out. You also need to apply it a little bit onto your eyelids because this will help to make an even base so the colors will really pop. And as you can see, it matches my natural skin color. And now we can move on to the next step and that will be concealer. So I apply this onto my nose. I make a line on my nose. Yeah. I make a few stripes onto my forehead, your chin, a little bit under the eyes. And then you can blend this with your beauty blender. And this will look really nice in photos and it, it, it will give your face a little bit more dimension. So there is so much more that you can do with makeup than just putting some eyeliner on. <laughs> What's really, really, really important, listen. Listen. When you are done with your foundation and concealer, you need to powder it. You need to fix it. I never did that. <gasps> because the foundation is a little bit creamy mm -hmm. and when you apply powder on top of it, it will stay all day on the same spot, it won't smear out, ah. it won't melt from your face. So yeah. Yeah. powder your face. <laughs> <laughs> and don't be afraid to use too much powder. Dab this on your face. Yes, this looks We're I apply a, a really thick layer of powder and that's okay because the powder will soak up all the oil. Ah. So you need to let it soak in for a little bit. Just let it sit. I seriously never, never use this. Really? It will make such a big difference. <laughs> When the powder has set, you can sweep the excess powder away by circular motions. So, so guys, it's, it's okay if you're not good at this at the beginning. No, of course, you need to practice and practice a lot. I, I really sucked at working with the Warbler. Yeah, you, you, were, you were a star, really. Oh. You have to check out that video. <laughs> so yeah, and now the base is completed. 
So now you can do whatever you want. Um, I mostly go further with my eyebrows. So mm -hmm. shall we do the brows? Yeah. Yeah? Let's do brows. I like to use this gel. So eyebrows are so important for cosplay. So depending on the character you're playing, you can change the shape of your eyebrow. Now I have one brow. Yes, you can. <laughs> So next step will be eyeshadow. It also depends on your cosplay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but I like to make a kind of smoky eye because I think that looks really fierce. First, I like to take an eyeshadow that match my own skin color. So that will be, oh, I think this one, it's maybe it's a little bit lighter. And then I apply this in the crease and that's above the fold in your eye. And to be honest, you cannot see it. But that's okay because this is a transitioning color and that makes it really easy to blend and brown eyeshadow or darker oh, okay. eyeshadow color yeah. and also use a matte eyeshadow for this and then i take a darker brown eyeshadow mm -hmm. um, so for me i'm taking this one right here i apply this also into the crease mm -hmm. but don't go above the crease okay And then on the outer part, I'm making really small circles to blend it more out to the outer part of the eye. And this will give your eyes the depth yeah. and it will make your eyes also appear bigger. I'm picking a lighter one, the, the, this one, because well, my, my skin is light. <laughs> For you, because you have hooded eyelids, yeah. it's also okay to put it a little bit above that fold, like here. Yes, just a bit of shadow. I take a darker color, mm -hmm. and by dark I mean really dark really color. Dark. Yeah, but be careful. This eyeshadow palette is really pigmented, ah. so I dip it in really carefully like this, and that's enough. I apply this. I make a dark spot on the outer part of my eye. Just like this. So on the eyelid on the eyelid and this will look really weird but we are going to blend this out and then uh, go yeah. over it to smooth it all out and this will give your eyes more depth mm, yeah on the corners mm -hmm. and then what i like to do is also apply the same brown eyeshadows on the lower lash line because this will make your eyes look more bigger mm -hmm. and it will really help to create that smoky look it helps to look up when you apply this so i first applied the light brown eyeshadow and now i go in with the darker brown yeah okay and now we need to add some shimmer uh, because when you apply shimmer on the uh, middle part of the eyelids it will look great on photos. And I like to apply a golden eyeshadow on my eyelids. I apply this with a dabbing motion onto my eyelid. So I don't go over the crease on you. This one right here. Yeah, it's like a... Some of it has fallen on the under part of our eyes. Don't sweep it away with your fingers. <laughs> Use a fan brush for it because when you do it with your fingers, you will create dark stripes. Ah. Uh. So with this brush, you can close your eyes. But yeah, better. And the other side. By this, you are sweeping it away without creating the dark stripes under your eyes. What I also like to do is highlighter. And I like to highlight the inner part, the, uh, the teardrops of the eye. Apply this here. And for now, I think the eyes are okay. If you want to, you can apply eyeliner, but I think you really don't need eyeliner. Mm -hmm. The next step is the mascara. Oh, wait, wait. I almost forgot something. Well, wait one second. <laughs> oh. 
because that's also really important and that is white eyeliner because this will make your eyes bigger so what I do I apply this in my waterline This will also look great oh, on camera. Yeah. Wow, I, I never uh, thought of that. Yeah. This is so strange to do. <laughs> yeah, you never white, apply uh, any white? No, no. <laughs> it, it looks so easy <laughs> when she does it. <laughs> then you can apply your mascara. Sorry, I did it wrong. <laughs> but then you can apply the mascara. Um, while the mascara is drying, um, we can go further with the contour part. Mm -hmm. So this is my contour kit and I'm dipping it in the, uh, in the dark brown. And then when you make the fish face, <laughs> you can see where the shadow <laughs> is. From here, a little bit above your ear to the corner of the mouth. But don't apply it all the way. Oh. It needs to be the darkest next to the hairline and then blend it a little bit out and you can change your face shape with this you can make it more white, more small whatever you want for you I'm using this lighter color at first we can all always go darker mm -hmm. when it's too light And then you're contoured nice. and I also like to apply highlighter and then apply it on the cheek. Yeah. And I also like to apply this um, on the tip of my nose. Look, this, this gives you that cute look. And here, between the eyes on the nose bridge. And you can also apply it on the cupid's bow. Yeah. Then you can just apply your lipstick. And now we are doing the finishing touch and it will be the eyelashes. Oh. And eyelashes <laughs> look so beautiful, so you, you cannot forget them. It's so hard. I'm I'm I tried it, but I could never get it right. Why not? <laughs> Um, I'm helping you today. Uh, there's one tip. If you find it really hard to apply fake eyelashes, you can cut them in three pieces. Ah. So you don't have to apply the whole strip at once. Yeah. But then you can apply the separate pieces. So I'm cutting it That's in smart. four. So now you have four pieces. Yeah. And you can first apply the outer one. Apply a little bit of lash glue. This one is amazing. This one is from Duo. Mm -hmm. And then the dark one. Ah. Apply a little drop of it. And then you can use a tweezer in the glue. Hard to focus. Oops. Well, let it dry. The trick is to let the glue dry until it gets tacky because when you apply it, it will stick immediately. Because when the glue hasn't dried yet, the lashes will still move. <laughs> oh, that looks so beautiful! And I think. Uh, for your eyes, it looks the best if you leave it like this. Yeah. Yeah. I think it is it's really nice. And then this is the result. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It looks really, really pretty. So yeah. I'm really, really happy with all the tips that I got. I learned a lot Yay. in this video. <laughs> yeah, so now we are actually prepared to wear our cosplays and make some photos. Yay. So I really hope that you uh, enjoyed this video and that you also uh, learned some useful tips about uh, your own makeup for cosplay. And yeah, thank you very much for watching and be sure to check out uh, Shilling's uh, channel too. 
Thank you very much yeah, for, uh, you. for being here and helping me. Yay, it was a pleasure. <laughs> so, see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.